And, uh, you know, I don't know if I've even really seen the one play Samus yeah. too much, so... I'm also just, like, totally on this, like, I've never seen Ganon the Beast play Samus. Like, this yeah. has been a total shock I, for me. I've seen, like, I've seen him play Captain Falcon before. I've seen him play Falco before. Mm -hmm. But... Um, who else? Samus? Someone yeah. else. Yeah. Wow, okay, I think two I've seen hints him play Link before, too. Oh, okay. But, you know... Uh, the family seems to all yep. play each other's characters at some proficiency, so... Yep. This should be a fun matchup. This is so, like... I feel like it, it just goes so back and forth because, like, Samus can keep out Marth so well, right? But then if Marth gets in, then it's like, what does Samus do? <laughs> yeah. So it's, I feel like it's such an interesting, like, uh, trading type of matchup. Oof. Triple R using uh, a lot of down tilt to cover the ledge options right now. Yeah, it is a great uh, move. It pokes really far. It's very good at catching people at the ledge. Ooh, wow. And honestly, something that's kind of surprised me is like actually how aggressive Ganon the Beast is Samus is. Yeah. He actually really has an aggressive one. Wow, okay, that was a good catch. Okay. Ooh, forward air. Down tilt to forward air. And, uh, the one, Ganon the Beast, whatever you want, Moshi, <laughs> whatever you want to call him. He nodded his head. He's feeling it. He's like, I don't, you know, like, I don't need a, I mean, a zero suit version. <laughs> See, yeah, you're so right. It doesn't make sense, like, because she's in the suit. So you, yeah. you think she'd be, I don't know. Oh, what? Well, okay. Ooh. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. I mean, you know. Not, not hating on Samus, but she <laughs> plays a whole video game, yep. you know, in her suit and only takes it off at the end yep. as, like, a job well done. <laughs> there you so. Go. so it's like, but Ganon the Beast is proving why this is the superior version right now. Oh, yeah, just covering himself so well off stage too. Like, it's been really hard for Triple R to get a confirm on this first stock. Ooh. <laughs> just the patience. The yeah. patience. Both I, kind of afraid to hit on each other's shield yeah. or reach for a grab. Usually this uh, matchup is so like fast, but I think because they're playing different characters, they're not quite sure what to do with each other. Yeah, and you know, the shields, I, yeah. I would almost want to say that Ganon was hesitant to grab because of how slow the tether grab is, right. and maybe Triple R was just waiting for an opportunity to roll behind him on it. Or, yeah. You know. Totally. It's like, it's really interesting because it's like for the first time in a long time, we've seen these two like feel each other out. Yeah. You know, trying to play the downloading game. Oh, good. Turn around for its match. Oh, and even Samus just kind of turned away. <laughs> like, she did it, and then she turned back. She's like, yeah. <laughs> nah, so I'm done with you. Nah. <laughs> disrespectful. Like, get out. <laughs> she did a, like, Bayonetta, like, fist bump. Like, get out. <laughs> what else does she say? She's like, get out. She's like, see you. <laughs> and she's like, ta-ta. Ta-ta. I imagine Samus does. You just can't hear her because she's in her suit. She's probably saying all of Bayonetta's lines in her suit. Probably. Bayonetta probably stole them, and now Samus is really yeah. salty about it. <laughs> like, oh my gosh. This girl. All right. Ooh. Ooh. And just Triple R doing his classic. Uh, just He runs in and goes for a grab. Like, he does that so much, if like you notice. And I, I remember, like... Uh, even back during, uh, Josh made a video where he interviewed Triple R about like a set, and Triple R said he loves rushing, and right away, unless his opponent gives him a reason not to, he will always rush in, just because he likes doing that. It's interesting, you know. It's nice to be where the action is. Yep. I could appreciate that. Players all have their styles, and it's kind of an interesting thought to kind of dash in with the yeah. grab too, because I think. Right off the bat, a lot of players yep. would shield on reaction. Right. Like, oh, he's running at me. Oh, no. We just yep. started. Just eliminating so. that neutral right away, you know. It's hard to have a neutral against Triple R just in general. It's like what I've noticed playing him. Oof. See him covering the yeah. ledge, trying to space out a tipper there. Keeping it really even. Uh, Triple R looking a lot better this time. Good counter. Very good counter. I think that might even be the first time we've seen him throw a counter out. Yeah, and he uh, made it work. Oh, and that Dolphin Slash almost killing it. That's also a pretty notable kill move. Yeah. It's, like, risky, but it's really rewarding because it's so fast. Yeah, definitely. I also like it as a good disengage tool also. Good um, patience by Ganon the Beast. Yeah, it's, it's great at, like, stopping momentum. Uh, but Ganon the Beast with a good read, and then Triple R just forward smashes, and we're even. Okay. Cool. <laughs> you know, that's fine. 
They're like, we're, we're going to get this going. Oh, oh strength. There we go. 40% right to the top. I'm going to call that the stairway to heaven. Because <laughs> it's, it's just so, so elegant. Ooh. Man, yeah, now Ganon the Beast running this aggressive Samus play. I can't believe he's making aggressive Samus work. It's really fun to watch, actually. It, it is very, very fun to watch, you know, between just the up air and up B strings he's getting yeah. and the, um, you know, he spaces right. that forward air out so well yeah. because it's a move you really yep. commit to. Fair, uh, the tilts and the jabs, like all the tilts are really well spaced. And he goes back to being defensive when he needs to, but when he gets an opening, he's like, no, nah, I'm going to go in. Like, I'm, I'm feeling it. And he's kind of also, you know, used a wide variety of Samus's moves, too. Yeah. Right? Like, it's really creative. Oh, wow. That was such an interesting option that worked out. And Triple R didn't have a jump, so he was not coming back. Definitely a solid string there. Yeah. Uh, it, oh, he ran that second stock. That was good. Yeah, like really, like good Samus play makes me really happy. I, I love you know. seeing you know any of the these lower tier characters yeah. come out with strong play like that. It's it's great to showcase what other characters can yep. do. Yeah, and it's it's always you know like weird that we don't have that many people play like better characters, you know. But I think we have a cool niche in which we have players who play these bad characters well or like do cool things with them you know it keeps the like meta fresh and interesting here yeah like it, it's hard to know exactly how the meta is gonna work ever like yes we have like consistent players who like you know okay these are the players that are gonna get top five but there's always like you know interesting things that happen in those matchups and like they'll pull out like characters like this and do weird things with them that work oh footstool shenanigans oof Going for that spike. I gotta say, Mars spike is really satisfying because it's so hard to land. Definitely, they they made it a chore almost. Yeah. <laughs> like it is. Yeah, it is not like the other games. Ooh, I thought I was gonna get hit into the stage. I got scared. Oh, good up smash. And, and it is that back hit that matters. And the thing I, I liked about that up smash too is um. Almost as if he knew, like, the, the amount of time it would take to get to that back would hitbox be would the, outlast that um, yeah. counter, so. Yeah, that was, like, really good. I really like when, um, yeah, players kind of utilize arc hit hitboxes like that. I think Ganon the Beast is familiar with them with, like, having an up air and, like, a forward air. Just, like, a lot of um, yeah. arc hitboxes with his character. Well, yeah, the way Ganon kind of swings around mm -hmm. for his moves. Yeah, the way you can utilize late hits like that is really interesting. Yeah, and Yambi's looking really good right now. He might, we might see a 3-0. Shout out to both these guys for really sticking to their secondaries, though. Yeah. I'm Not uh, going to their mains once. Definitely proud of them. I know Randall was a little hesitant yeah, getting later into the bracket, yeah. wondering if he might want to switch to Kirby, because... But he's in top three know. right now with Marth, you know? And so he's doing well for himself. And I give them a lot of credit because being a high-level player, you're used to playing to win, you know, because right. you actually win. Right, exactly. So. There's, like, more of a money incentive on, on the line. He didn't connect that up B, though, so that won't be the sock. That was a little greedy, but he gets away with it. Triple R has a chance to not make this a 3-0. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah. I was thinking he was going to go for that. I wasn't sure if he was going to get it. Forward smash. Oh. Are we going to get the up special? Oh. I'm wondering Very if dangerous there game, it that's is. it. Yep, and Yen and the Beast just waited. I think that's what yep. he was looking for for that whole last 10, yep. 15 seconds there, just was, the right set up. Yep, he was waiting for a misread um, smash attack. It's a smart play. That's so scary, that up is scary. Oh, yeah. I don't like that. <laughs> it, it's shocking. It just kind of, you it's know, like, there it is. I mean, it kills like around 130, 140, it looks like, potentially earlier by the top, you yeah. know. Yeah, guess it